So Jim Jordan says, you know, what? let me subpoena this guy. We need to talk to this guy about what took place here. And Bragg doesn't want him to talk about it. So he goes on, he said, this is an, in an interference in my investigation. How? Alvin and the chipmunks in the Bragg DA's office, backed by George Soros, is trying to affect the federal election. He's trying to affect the federal election with his indictments, which are phony as a rogue prosecutor. But unfortunately, New York is a cesspool of Democrats throughout the justice system from the bottom up, the middle out, the top down, and so forth. The judges, the juries, the grand juries, the prosecutors, the assistant prosecutors, all Democrats are overwhelmingly so. So Republicans don't have a shot. So this indictment of Trump is intended to have political consequences. Why else bring it? And so uh, it could affect the Republican nomination process nationwide for president. It could affect the general election, obviously. Bragg is a Democrat. He wants Biden to win. And so the question then becomes, Bragg brought a lawsuit in the Southern District of New York in federal court, not state court, challenging the authority of the House of Representatives to conduct a hearing uh, and challenging subpoenas for people on his staff uh, and former people on his staff to appear before the House Judiciary Committee, which Jim Jordan chairs. Now, I just pointed out to you two reasons why Congress has oversight responsibility uh, and legislative responsibility, because you have a rogue local Soros prosecutor interfering with, or at least affecting, uh, a national election. So there's no question that there's jurisdiction, but they'll throw that against the wall anyway. Let's take a look. This is Eyewitness News, ABC7, New York. Go. Perhaps for the first time ever, the district attorney of Manhattan tonight suing the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary Committee to prevent Congressman Jim Jordan from interfering in New York City's investigation into former President Trump. Complicated. DA Alvin Bragg filed the lawsuit in federal court today, calling Jordan's subpoena of Bragg a brazen and unconstitutional attack. Joe Torres in the newsroom following the chaos of all this. Joe? Bill, it's worth repeating. A brazen and unconstitutional attack. That is how Manhattan District Attorney... Stop, Al stop, stop. What are these, uh, parrots? They regurgitate what Alvin Bragg puts in his briefs. I mean, his legal briefs, not the other briefs. And so it's the brazen attack on his investigation... Excuse me, there's two investigations going on here. The House Judiciary Committee is conducting an investigation, an oversight investigation, into what Bragg is doing on the national election uh, scale. So it's not a brazen attack on Bragg. There's two investigations here, and Bragg is, is obstructing Congress. He's obstructing this committee. Now, this is a funny thing. January 6th, they subpoenaed people. People don't show up. They throw it to the prosecutors in the U.S. Department of Injustice. They go to the U.S. attorney in Washington, D.C., who in kind turns around and goes after people like Bannon or whomever. You got a phony special counsel in Washington subpoenaing members of Congress, former members of Congress, lawyers violating attorney-client privilege with the help of Democrat Obama judges. And here, the Republicans in the House Judiciary Committee, they want to have an oversight hearing. They want Bragg to show up to discuss on what basis did you side interfere with a federal election? Oh, he's interfering with our prosecution and our investigation. He can't do that. This is brazen. So two dimwits regurgitate exactly what Bragg says. Go. Alvin Bragg describes the actions of Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio. So to shut down that attack, the DA today sued the Republican representative on charges he is interfering with the DA's criminal prosecution of former President Donald Trump. Last week, Jordan, who chairs the House... So look, look how the entire spin on... ABC, uh, what do we have here? Excuse me, Eyewitness News, ABC7, New York. Look how the entire spin is anti-Jordan and pro-Bragg. It's, it's pathetic. Go ahead. Judiciary Committee served a subpoena on Mark Pomerantz, who previously worked in the DA's office and participated in the investigation of Mr. Trump. Well, today's lawsuit seeks to block the... Hold on now. 
And what did Mark Pomerantz do? Anybody know? Raise your hand. He wrote an entire book like this thick on the investigation and why he came out of a lucrative law practice out of a major New York firm to join Alan Bragg without any pay whatsoever to investigate Trump, as did another lawyer, because they hate Trump. The guy's wife hates Trump. He wrote about this. He wanted to get Trump. He wanted to get Trump so he couldn't be president again. He wanted Trump to wind up in jail. This is all in the guy's book. And then when Bragg said, ah, there's not enough here, he quit in protest, went public, and wrote his book. And then Bragg said, well, let me rethink this. And then he restarted his investigation and goes after Trump with the bogus charges. So what Jim Jordan is saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're interfering with a federal election. This guy wrote a book. He said, I want to get Trump. I think we have a right to look into this. And so they subpoena the former uh, assistant DA prosecutor who wrote the book. So there's no privilege issue. He wrote a book. There's no investigative secrecy. The guy wrote a book for which he was paid money. Uh, and he made statements that are extremely troubling about uh, Trump and the violation, I think, of the Code of Professional Conduct in any state, including New York. And the impact, of course, on the national election speaks for itself. Why do you think all the media have been covering this? And so Jim Jordan says, you know, let me subpoena this guy. We need to talk to this guy about what took place here. And Bragg doesn't want him to talk about it. So he goes on. He says, this is an in interference in my investigation. How? The guy wrote a book. So in my view, they don't have a leg to stand on. But then again, this is New York. It's Democrats. It's whatever. Go ahead the former special assistant DA from testifying before the committee. Furthermore, Mr. Jordan's committee announced on Monday its plans to hold a field hearing here in New York City, a move interpreted by... You can by tell when the journalists don't like it. A field hearing? You couldn't just say to hold a field hearing. They're obviously holding a hearing to show what an a-hole this guy is and the fact that he's not prosecuting crimes. Go ahead. The DA is part of a transparent campaign to intimidate Mr. Bragg. Well, Mayor Eric Adams today shared his thoughts on the legal back and forth between House Republicans and Manhattan's top prosecutor. The same Republicans who are coming here talking about the safety in New York where crime is going down, shootings and homicides are going down because of the plan the commission has put in place. Wait a minute. What a fraud this mayor is. What a complete jackass, you know. Former police. He was elected to put his foot down on crime. His crime's going down in New York. How many of you want to take a subway in New York? How many of you want to walk the streets? Even in Times Square, that under Rudy Giuliani and even Bloomberg were safe. They were safe. Nobody even thought about bothering you. You still have a problem with cops retiring, cops quitting. Uh, so a retention issue, you can't seem to get enough cops to replace them, you know, rookies who are trained up and brought into the force. And they make it look like everything's going great. It's the fault of Republicans. There are no Republicans running anything in New York. The same Republicans. Go ahead. Those By the way, look at the guy over his right shoulder. Who is that guy? Ooh. Go ahead. Districts. Crime is increasing per capita. You see him? Actually, it's over his left shoulder on the right side of our monitor. This guy's like a nonstop smiler. Hey, look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? It's hilarious. It's a sticker. It is a sticker? Yeah. Well, no wonder it's funny. Go ahead. So, uh, you know, I think this is a moment where they should do a reflection in their own demographics. Those same people that are talking about uh, the crime in New York per capita, they are going up. They're increasing. And so uh, why are they here? They should be holding a hearing in their municipalities to deal with the issues there. Now, that's funny how he sidesteps this whole thing. This is the DA of Manhattan, not of all New York. That is all the boroughs. It's the DA of Manhattan. Now, maybe crime's going down in Staten Island or something like that, but it sure as hell isn't going down in Manhattan. He's a liar, and he knows it. There's a lot of people who are suffering 
as a result of this. So crime is not going down. Crime is going up. New York is an extraordinarily dangerous city. I like the way they say it's the safest big city in America. Uh, no, not really. Maybe compared to Chicago and Philadelphia, but that's about it. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.